Welcome back to Three Minute Beer Reviews. Today I will be trying the Alaskan Kolsch. Um, I've said this before, but Kolsch is my favorite style, or one of my favorite styles of beer, along with you know Pilsners, Lagers, Kolsches. I, I like simple beers, I like light beers, but I like stuff that's complex. Um, Alaskan Brewing Company I know makes about average beers, and maybe that's an unfair assessment, but every beer I've had from them is it's it's decent for the style that I've had it. Um, but with Kolsch being, you know, one of my preferred styles of beers, I'm excited to give this a try. It is 5.3% ABV, which I think is a little bit higher than most Kolsch's uh, tend to be. I had a really good one recently that was only 3.8, and it was so good that I didn't even care that it was only 3.8. And this, right from the top, it's kind of interesting because it's a little bit darker than most Kolsch style beers that I've seen. It's, you can see it's very light, it's very see-through. It's got a decent amount of bubbles. The head dissipated almost immediately. Um, but it's definitely a little bit more golden and not so straw color compared to most Kolsch's that I'm used to. So that makes it interesting from the beginning. It has higher ABV than most Kolsch's that I'm used to as well. Um, doesn't have a whole lot of aroma either. But again, it's a Kolsch. So you don't really expect that. You don't expect that from these lighter uh, German style beers. Definitely getting malt and kind of getting a coppery um, smell as well. And honestly, like like I said, Alaskan is not the greatest kind of smaller brewery, but they're also not the worst by any means at all. Um, and I kind of get that coppery note from a few of their beers that I've had. Okay, let's take a sip. Hmm. Very malty, but not too malty. I get the slight copperiness that I got in the smell, but it's not as apparent as it was in the smell. Hmm. I'm not getting a whole lot besides the malt though. It's really kind of malt heavy. But it's got a pretty light aftertaste. It doesn't linger too bad. It's not bad. But again, like most beers I've had from Alaska or the Alaskan Brewing Company, um, it's nothing spectacular at all. It's it's solid. It's decent. Let's take one one last look at it. Let's look at the bottom. I'm gonna give it a three three point two five out of five. It's okay. Maybe three, even just three out of five. Yeah, it's not bad. I'd try it again. Um, if it was the only kosher around or the only pilsner or lager, and I was in that kind of mood, I'd go for it. But again, nothing spectacular. Maybe a little bit too one-dimensional with just honestly just so much the malt and not so much of anything else. Not really extra crisp like I like some Kolsch's. Um, just kind of malty, a little bit bland. All right. Workers of the World Unite. Peace out.